Imagine a place on Earth where the laws of nature seem to have stopped working. A place where animals not only survive lethal radiation, but thrive, as if mocking our understanding of what's possible and impossible. This is the Chernobyl Exclusion Zone, where wild boars have challenged science itself, creating a mystery that scientists couldn't solve for over 35 years. In 1986, the world witnessed the largest disaster in nuclear power history. The reactor explosion at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant released massive amounts of radioactive material into the atmosphere. Over 350,000 people were evacuated, leaving behind cities, villages, and their pets. No one could have predicted that this tragedy would become one of history's most remarkable natural experiments. When scientists began studying animals in the exclusion zone, they expected to see a predictable pattern, a gradual decrease in radiation levels across all living organisms. Initially, everything followed this pattern. Most animals showed declining radioactive contamination levels. It was logical and aligned with the laws of physics, but then researchers encountered something inexplicable. Wild boars completely defied all predictions. More than 38 years after the accident, radiation levels in their bodies remain as high as if the disaster happened yesterday. This phenomenon so puzzled the scientific community that it became known as the wild boar paradox. Only in 2023 did scientists finally solve this puzzle, and the answer proved even more shocking than the mystery itself. They discovered that the high radiation levels in boar's bodies weren't just from Chernobyl, but also from nuclear tests of the 1960s. Their bodies contained cesium-135, an isotope that had entered the soil long before the Chernobyl disaster. The explanation lay in the boar's unusual diet. These animals love underground mushrooms, deer truffles growing 20, 40 centimeters deep. In this underground storage, radioactive materials from two eras, nuclear tests, and the Chernobyl catastrophe had concentrated. Every time a boar feasts on truffles, it receives a cocktail of radioactive isotopes from different periods. This problem has spread far beyond the exclusion zone. In Germany, hunters must test every killed boar for radioactivity, and often the meat is so contaminated it must be destroyed. Many German hunters have abandoned boar hunting altogether, leading to an explosive growth in their population. But the story of Chernobyl's radioactive animals isn't limited to boars. In Norway, scientists encountered a similar situation with reindeer. The cause was found in lichen, these animals' primary food source. Lacking a root system, lichen absorbs nutrients directly from the air, including radioactive particles. As a result, Norwegian reindeer still show dangerous radiation levels. Contrary to popular myths about monstrous mutants, reality proved both less spectacular and more scientifically fascinating. Yes, radiation caused many changes in animals, from immune system disorders to genetic variations. But instead of horror movie monsters, nature created something far more remarkable. Take Chernobyl's wolves, for instance. Recent studies showed these predators developed unique genetic protection against cancer. While high radiation doses typically increase cancer risk, local wolves somehow learned to resist this threat. This phenomenon has already attracted attention from medical researchers studying new approaches to human cancer treatment. Chernobyl's dogs became a separate chapter in this amazing story. Descendants of pets abandoned during evacuation, they didn't just survive, they created a unique population. Genetic studies confirmed that all modern dogs in the exclusion zone are indeed descendants of those domestic animals that survived the 1986 catastrophe. But Chernobyl's most surprising aspect is how human absence affected wildlife. Without human interference, many animal species began rapidly multiplying. Within 10 years, the roe deer population increased tenfold. Wolf density in the exclusion zone became seven times higher than in neighboring areas. Why haven't we seen those mutants that movies and books warn us about? The answer lies in reproductive biology. For large animals, receiving radiation doses capable of causing serious mutations in reproductive cells usually means death. Radiation is more likely to kill an organism than create a viable mutant. Yet wild boars showed an amazing ability to survive in extreme conditions. Their secret is simple. They reproduce quickly and frequently. A female can breed any time of year, producing up to two litters of five, seven piglets. 
these piglets are ready to reproduce themselves within six months. For comparison, roe deer breed only once yearly, carry their young for 10 months, and usually birth just two fawns. This rapid reproduction capability also manifested in another nuclear exclusion zone around Fukushima 1 in Japan. After the 2011 accident, the local boar population grew from 3 to 13,000 in just four years. They occupied abandoned buildings, turning them into shelters despite radiation levels in their bodies exceeding safe limits by 300 times. In recent years, Chernobyl's exclusion zone unexpectedly became a unique sanctuary. They even specially introduced 36 Przewalski's horses, the last truly wild horses on the planet. This experiment proved successful. In this human-free territory, these rare animals' population began growing. Today, the area around the Chernobyl nuclear power plant has become a unique natural laboratory where scientists study radiation's effects on living organisms and their remarkable adaptation abilities. Animals here don't fear humans. They simply don't know they should. Bears, wolves, foxes, and other zone inhabitants peacefully live their lives, seemingly demonstrating that nature can recover even after the most terrible catastrophes. But Chernobyl's main lesson is that our actions' consequences can manifest decades later in the most unexpected ways. Who could have predicted that nuclear tests from the 1960s would still affect wild boars in 2024? or that abandoned pets would create a unique population genetically adapted to life in a radioactive zone. This story continues to surprise scientists with new discoveries. Each study brings unexpected results, forcing us to rethink our understanding of living organisms' ability to adapt to extreme conditions. And while humans cannot return to these places, nature continues its remarkable experiment, whose results we observe and study to this day.